During the late 1980s and early 1990s, the management of Teutons Limited embarked on an aggressive expansion program that resulted in the opening of several new locations in Newfoundland and Labrador and Nova Scotia. Because all the new outlets featured one-hour mini-lab film developing equipment, this expansion was costly. They financed these investments by debt, which was a decision they would regret. In 1991, the retail economy suffered a decline with the introduction of the Goods and Services Tax, the GST. This was aggravated by the Cod Fishery Moratorium, which further weakened consumer demand for several years. The company's resulting drop in revenue made it difficult to service the large debt obligations. May 1994, Teutons filed for protection from its creditors to give it time to make a proposal to restructure its operations and finances. November 1994, the creditors accepted the proposal, the main part of which was the sale of the Nova Scotia stores. During the following year, the company cut its expenses, but not as fast as margins were dropping. The provincial economy was weak and formidable new competitors, Dominion Stores, Walmart and Costco, opened, cutting into sales volume and forcing down prices. November 1995, the company filed for bankruptcy and was placed in receivership. For a few months, the bankruptcy trustee and receiver operated the business in an unsuccessful effort to find a buyer for the company's remaining assets. The doors to Teutons Limited closed for good January 31st, 1996.